This is where we ran into the Borison last time. It looks the same as usual. Because I blocked all the relevant news to make it seem as if nothing had happened. Losing contact with their accomplices preparing the Star Skiff will surely put them on guard. However, the more well-prepared a plan is, the longer it takes to adjust when it's disrupted. If any Borson wants to stick to the original plan despite the risks, they'll surely come back to Stargazer Novalia to check the situation. Are you suggesting that there are Borison here at Stargazer Novalia right now? This is an automated area. So don't you think that there are a bit too many people here today? First, look at those two Skyfaring Commission staff members. They've been observing us in secret since we arrived here. Then, there's a Cloud Knight soldier over there. Perhaps he's here for patrol. But each patrol team must consist of two members. And obviously, he is not following the rules. Lastly, there's that craftsman wearing Artisanship Commission clothing. He's unusually focused on checking that device. If you have a target in mind, let's go investigate. Ah, oh, uh, Lieutenant Yen Xing! And, uh, General Fischel? You're aware of the Boris in prison break, right? Yeah, I've received the news, and I'll be on the alert. Looks like you've been keeping an eye on the Sky Splitter. Have you noticed anything unusual? No, everything is normal on the ship. Nothing out of the ordinary. This is not a location for a Cloud Knight on guard duty, is it? Well, this spot offers a great view. Are you here to keep an eye on the Sky Splitter? Yes. You've been observing the Sky Splitter for a while. Have you noticed anything? Honestly, just watching the ship from here isn't too thrilling. I wish I could go on board and witness Lieutenant Yen Xing's contests. Speaking of which, Lieutenant Yen Xing, aren't you supposed to be on the Sky Splitter? Is it alright for you to be here instead? Thank you for your concern, but I have more pressing matters to attend to. Oh. Are you? Don't you know that Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown now? Hey, chill out. They're just a few lost tourists. But Stargazer Navalia is the shipbuilding port of the Cienjo Lafu. If the Skyfaring Commission called for a lockdown, there should be official documents proving it, right? Official documents? <laughs> of course there are. The Cloud Knights are aware that some people have infiltrated this port. That makes perfect sense. So you're now investigating the Borison? Yeah. Well, we've received orders from the higher-ups, so we've blocked off this area to prevent any interference with our inspection. Thank you for your understanding. Hey, you there! Please refrain from wandering around Stargazer Navalia if you're not... Oh, it's you, Lieutenant Yenqing. No, not at all. Actually, I'm here to address a peculiar issue. A peculiar issue? Yeah, we've had some unscheduled star skiffs being constructed at this dock in Stargazer Navalia. Could there have been an error in the production planning for the assembly line? This is just weird. I thought all the pending star skips from before the war dance had been scheduled already. I'm sorry, but I need to focus on my work right now. If you have any questions, we can discuss them later. So, 
It seems that some Borison have returned to Stargazer Navalia in disguise. The answer seems quite obvious. Yeah, I believe he was just slacking off. In my opinion, the staff members from the Skyfaring Commission appear more suspicious. Remember when I mentioned that the Cloud Knights blocked all relevant news to make it seem as if nothing happened? Stargazer Navalia is not under lockdown. But on the contrary, those staff members use Stargazer Navalia as on lockdown as an excuse to persuade us to leave. This contradicts the Cloud Knights' plans. Their flimsy disguise has been exposed. Even if they try to hide, there's no way they can escape us. Why are you still here? As I said, Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown now. No. I never issued such an order. Who are you? Perhaps you haven't met me on the battlefield, but I am certain you've heard my name. Now, I'm asking you a question, so answer me. Tell me. How many more of your comrades are here? Where were you planning to meet Hule? This woman. She's the general of the Yao Xing. What are you still waiting for? Attack her! Memories are beneath the waters lies an endless abyss! Stay away! Existence is unity. Destiny isn't chosen. <laughs> Stand still. That's half the work. I weep for the departed. Run! Tell Lord Mock talk about this! <sighs> Why don't you kill me? Because I need answers. Descendants of Duran. You want me to talk? <laughs> Fine. Try whatever you want. But I assure you, you won't get anything from me. Only fangs and blood. If I were to do that, I wouldn't be any different from you. I am the arrow that pierces the wolf's heart. I grant you a swift death. <laughs> That's exactly what I desire. Wolves that leave the pack are prepared for the fate of never returning home. But sadly, you didn't catch my partner. He will alert them. Before you close your eyes, you should know that I allowed him to escape. Because he will lead the Cloud Knights to Hule's hideout. <laughs> Is this how you leave one side open? You let that Borison escape so you could track him? This is the most common hunting tactic used by Borison. I know the methods of these abominations all too well. They always leave an escape route for their prey, allowing them to flee in fear. Then they chase them like it's a game. Borison get great satisfaction from the last struggles of their victims. Have you... Witness these things firsthand? 
That guy called you a... war slave. What exactly have you experienced? Well, just a hazy past that I can barely recollect. Long ago, I was one of them. Not all Foxians are lucky enough to be born on a Sienjo ship. I grew up in one of the worlds where Boris and Rome known as the Fallen Territories by the people of the Yao Ching. To the Wolf Masters, Foxians are nothing but property. Cannon fodder used to slow down the Sienjo attacks on the battlefield. But you survived. And not only that, you became the General of the Yao Ching. If I get the chance, I'd love to hear stories of your past, General. Speaking of stories, you've reminded me that now is not the time for them. Mwadza, we've sent the warning from Stargazer Navalia. What's the situation on your end? I've found them. Zhao Cho is trying to stall Hulei, and he signaled me to not reveal myself. Trust his judgment and keep watching. We'll be right there. I believe the warning we sent will stop Hulei from attacking Stargazer Navalia. What will he do next? The hunt is not over yet. Stay safe, Zhao Cho. Please, save me. <laughs> I want to live, Doctor. Zhao Zhao, find a medical ingenium and give that kid a shot! Hurry! I... I see. How is the front line? The Boris and Beast ships have already landed on the Feng Hu. It won't be long before this place is overrun as well. What about General Yue Yu? Any news from her? I'm her healer. I should stay by her side at a time like this. She asked me to tell you that she's not coming back. She must protect the Cloud Pier Telescope. General asks you to... to save that kid. The girl fought desperately just to bring us all back here alive. I've never seen such a brutal fighting style. Her body... it's like she was split open. Just like... Pressure is dropping. Do you hear me, Zhao Shou? Loud and clear. Get me some tumble dust. We've got to start the operation right now. I... I will bring her back. Is that why you're so determined to learn my secrets? Do you hear me, Zhao Cho? I do. Loud and clear. So she saved you all in that great battle on the Xiangzhou Feng Hu three decades ago. But to your surprise, you discovered her boars and bloodline while she was at death's door. Moktok told me that she was a war slave who escaped from the Eclipse Pack. Oh, what a twist of fate. Turns out, she's from the same clan as I am. Now I understand. No wonder she displayed such astounding power, determination, and cruelty in battle. Turns out it's all because of her force and bloodline. Mutt! Despicable Mutt! <laughs> and she used the gift of her bloodline to destroy the Borison! <laughs> oh. Moon Rage, a blessing for wolves, and a curse.
curse for foxes. For Borison, to have their bodies torn apart by moon rage and transform into a beast oh, is the ultimate joy. But for you Foxians with poor regenerative abilities, it means certain death. Oh, with the burning fury in her heart, that Foxian general will eventually lose her sanity and indulge in endless bloodshed. The scars on her body will not be caused by enemy weapons, but by the immense power she can't withstand. One day, she will be torn apart and die as a monster. And in return for saving her life, you intend to give everything to solve this impossible puzzle. Hule, do you know the saddest thing about being a healer? All this time, I've devoted my life to bringing back those who sacrificed their lives to monsters like you. I exhausted myself, and my hands trembled. But I believed everything I did was meaningful. But once again, they rushed into battle. And then I heard of their deaths. They died under your claws. In your jaws. Amidst the flames of crashing star skiffs. And under the Lux Arrow of Rainbow. Like a useless idiot, I saved a fish named Life out of the cauldron called Death, only to watch it struggle, dive back into the boiling broth. So I asked myself, why were they so eager to run toward their death? after they had recovered from their wounds. Why wouldn't they value their hard-won life? All the doubts left me feeling lost. <laughs> I can smell your desperation all the way down to your bone marrow. Eventually, I realized that their deaths held value. They placed the weight of their sacrifice on the living, granting us strength. With a coin forged by their deaths, they exchanged something more in return. Everything I'm doing now, following you so closely, is just for one reason. Witnessing your death with my own two eyes. Even your death has value. It will pave the way for a peaceful war dance and a fully cured Feishao. Hmm. <laughs> the thoughts in your pathetic head are hardly surprising. Did you already know this? Yes, I did. As Borison, we understand the value of death more than anyone. And as a healer who has witnessed so much death, you won't be swayed by fear. Mm, what a shame, what a shame. Your story actually sparked a trace of respect for you in my heart. Can you even feel respect? with your corrupted heart. Hmm, of course. Because I caught a whiff of my own kind in you. Unfortunately, in the end, you're still just a weak fox. As the wolf's creed goes, 
gift the wolf a dead end. When new paths arise, raise him to a doomed fate where satiation lies. The cowards in forgotten corners meet their unworthy demise. Yet the valorous in brutal battles embrace their eternal prize. That's why I'm keeping you alive for now. I want to show you how Burrison truly respect their enemies. We will consume your flesh and blood, nourishing our own. We will crush your hopes and dreams, clearing a path for our hunt. Your feeble souls will witness a new future. A future that belongs to me. My lord, we received a message. Our arrangement at Stargazer Nivalia has been discovered. We must act quickly. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. <clears throat> Mock talk. What's that noise? It's the Sky Splitter. The ship that the Wardens will be held on is about to set off. The Sky Faring Commission will clear the air routes. And if our star skiffs try to escape, we'll be spotted. Calm down, Mock Talk. Look at you now, hiding and fearful. Where is your Boris and dignity? As I said, I'd sacrifice my dignity for your return. As long as you can come back to the Boris and Pax, there's still hope. Hope? <sighs> the Borison have forgotten the Wolf's creed. Weak creatures put their hope in the strong, but the strong fight their way out. Bringing me back instead of choosing a new master only proves the decline of our pack. And as for the prophet who manipulated you into saving me, she's just a liar trying to use Duran's offspring. <sighs> Mock talk. Let me tell you how the Burrison will rise to power. We won't hide like rats in the streets of the Xiangzhou. We will be ravenous wolves, walking amongst a herd of lambs with our fangs bared. But Great Warhead, our packs are not here. We can't go to war like this. Our packs are not here. Wherever I go, everyone is the pack. <laughs> Stay away. Just don't come any closer. No! Mock talk. We're the apex predators at the top of the hierarchy. As wolves, we create fear. We don't become servants to it. If you're blind to the path, I will be the crimson moon that lights the way for you. Share my crimson blood with our brethren. Use it to infect those Foxians and strike fear into their hearts. Now, you devious monkey, come out and face me. Chacho. Mosa. Run. No, he can't run, and neither can you. <laughs> You've come at the right time, monkey of the Yao Ching. Tell your general. Tell her that I will unleash a massacre here, drowning the Xiang Zhou La Fu in blood. From this moment on, wolves bearing my blood will hunt on every street, feasting on the followers of that devilish archer. Follow! 
Follow me, my cubs. We shall stride among the prey. Give the wolf a dead end. When new paths arise, raise him to a doom fate where satiation lies. The cowards in forgotten corners meet their unworthy demise. Yet the valorous in brutal battles embrace their eternal prize. Hear that? The rumble of the cannons. Oh, it brings back all the memories of past battles within me. My return will bring back the wolf's creed. In my own way, I shall save our weakened pack and restore it to its former glory. to attract people to come and watch if they didn't make a huge spectacle. <laughs> March, you haven't forgotten what you came to do, have you? As a representative of the Sienjo Lafu, I will defeat all challengers. That's the spirit. Sounds like you're all fired up. If you could just keep your legs from shaking so much, it would be more convincing, March. As the saying goes, the disciple takes the toil of their master. Remember, you are here under the identity of a lawful swordmaster, taking the place of your no-good master Yenqing as the ringmaster. But what am I supposed to do if my opponent for this round is super talented and just wipes the floor with me in seconds? I'm still a beginner in swordplay. I don't know where I got the confidence when I agreed to help General Huayan. Come on, there's no need to worry about that. If you are defeated, then your opponent shall have to answer to me. Although, if that happens, the honor and the glory of the Sienjo Lafu shall all be taken by the Jooming. <laughs> uh, Master Yun Li, please, I'm about to compete. Can you say something that will give me a little confidence? March, think about the great storms that you, Nameless of the Express, have weathered along your many journeys. There's no doubt that you have faced far more terrifying enemies than your opponents here today, right? Don't you feel a lot more relaxed looking at it that way? I've trained hard in the art of swordplay over these few days. It's time for me to get in the ring and prove myself. Let's go! Master Yun Li, I don't think I'm completely ready. March, there is no such thing as completely ready. <laughs> <laughs> 